Hello, my glamour waiters. Welcome back, honey. Listen, skirt. Before I can even, that's what the sign was. Because before I can even post my video, I go scrolling and guess what I find? Damn shade room. Well, first I think it was uh the neighborhood talk posted the shit, but I think them and shade room posted the shit at the same time. You know they be going back and forth with the with who posts the tea. The, the um first and shit like that but i thought i seen it i think i seen it on um neighborhood talk first that's just me anyway fuck that get into this shit right here now they trying to say that cash doll has a new man and guess who the fuck he is okay none other than party fun time whatever the fucking name is <laughs> Yes, honey, check the picture. Honey, I'm finna show y'all the picture in a moment. Hold up, wait one motherfucking minute. Now, I said, what? Let me look at this shit one more time. I had to look at it one more time. I actually looked at it three motherfucking times. Yes, they try to say that them people, them girls, them boys, them girls and boys in a relationship. Now, if y'all don't know who Partisan Fontaine is, that's the guy who... Um, did a record with Cardi B called Back It Up, you know, and that was the first time I think anybody even really heard of him on a big, you know, platform or whatever. He might have been doing underground, but I don't think he was doing nothing big until that song right there hit. But I ain't gonna lie, the song was a hit. I actually liked that. I used to ride that bitch for real, okay? But... Yeah, he real close with, you know, he's on Atlantic Records, so of course he's uh, close with Cardi B and the Migos and all of them, or whatever, whatever. But wait a minute, this is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk about. Because I goes and I be motherfucking nosy, because I'm like, what the fuck? Is this shit true? Is this shit true? And guess what the fuck I go find? None other than Cash Doll. On that man's shit, like in all his motherfucking shit, okay? But then I was like, okay, well, damn, maybe that's why, you know? Because people were in the comments saying, oh, now we see why you uh, tried to make an issue with Nicki Minaj, bitch, because you wanted to go over there and be with the Atlantic Records crew and be a part of that team over there because you fucking uh, partisan fun time or whatever, whatever. Now, before I let y'all see it for y'all self, I just want to say this. I made sure, I made sure I went through all his shit past two weeks ago, okay? And I didn't see her lights on none of that shit before two weeks ago, okay? Put that in your ear and, and let it marinate like like uh, Country Wayne say, let that marinate in your spirit, okay? She wasn't liking none of his shit. Past two weeks before her and before she unfollowed Nicki Minaj, I don't even think she even cared to know who the fuck he was. And to be truthful, most of the likes that she had on there was like within the last week or so, like a little over a week ago. So the shit kind of do adds up what the motherfucking Bards was saying. You know what I'm saying? And then my thing, because um, she he had some little, you know, fans on there that was liking all his shit, like, been liking his shit, like Bobby Lights, B. Simone, Tommy from um, at, uh, Hip Hop Atlanta, be on his shit. Um, I think Zell be on his shit. A couple of motherfuckers I seen that be constantly liking his shit. But one bitch I wasn't seeing that had been a faithful motherfucking fan was cash doll. okay so y'all check it out for y'all self um and he has a beautiful little girl so cash doll, i hope you ready to be a great stepmother to her because she's a very beautiful little girl okay Been a while since you met someone
not original You spend your time drinking wine in your living room All that good pussy Okay, so I know y'all saw it. I'm not about to go and screenshot every little fucking post he got with the date so y'all can see it. Go check for yourself. His name is Partisan Fontaine on Instagram. You can go look for yourself through all his little posts and you will see who was liking his shit and when they was liking it. And if you want to be specific and look for just cash, y'all go do that and see when she was liking shit. Okay, well that's all for me right now. I am living like living right now. This shit is too fucking funny. But at the end of the day, people do what they want to do. I mean, he ain't no ugly dude. If that's what she want, you know. That's what she want. She entitled to do that. So I can't be mad at that. But it do make sense of why you clicked up with Cardi B cash doll. Just be real with yourself to do. Okay, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I mean, am I reaching? Am I reaching? Let me know. I can I, I, I can take a uh, corrective criticism. Just don't be rude and talk shit because I will talk shit back. And that's how we'll do it. But I choose not to do that. I hope we can speak respectfully towards each other and have a differences of opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. We don't have to, everybody don't have to think the same. That's why God made us different. Okay, so comment down below and also like the video. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. And also, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe so you can come back and we can chat more. You can just look and watch and see what Glam got going on over here. Okay, and to my Glamorators, my true few, I love you, love you, love you. Thank you for coming back and have a blessed day.